So let's talk about iOS 18. Yes, I know it's a little early, but we're only about six months away from the first beta for iOS 18, and six months will fly right by. So in this video, I wanna talk about features we already have confirmed by Apple to be coming to iOS 18, and we'll also talk about some of the rumored features expected to be coming by reliable sources confirming some of these features are already in the works. We'll talk about device support. I know how important this is to most of you guys to know if your iPhone will be supported, and we'll talk about the expected release date for the first beta for iOS 18. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I wanna talk about is two features basically confirmed by Apple that will be coming to the iPhone with the next major update, iOS 18. And the first one I wanna talk about is RCS support for the messages application. Now, RCS stands for Rich Communication Services, and this will unlock better communications with outside platforms other than Apple. So Android, for example, this will unlock support for higher resolution photo transfers and videos, larger file transfers, better audio message, cross-platform typing indicators, red receipts, even improved group chat. So this will be a major improvement for outside platforms communicating with iPhones. Keep in mind, iMessage will Will still be the predominant messaging services on the iPhone, but RCS support is now confirmed by Apple to be coming to the iPhone with iOS 18. Now, another feature Apple basically confirmed coming to the iPhone is side loading. Now, in case you don't know, side loading allows you to install apps from third party app stores or from anywhere on the internet. Basically, the same thing we can do on an Android device, on a PC, even on a Mac. We've been doing this for years. Well, Apple is set to comply with regulations in the EU in the next couple of months. So, even before iOS 18, with iOS maybe 17.4 coming in the next couple of months. We'll see this feature roll out in the EU and most likely with iOS 18, Apple could expand this feature as more regions do require side loading as the EU will require in the next two months or so. So side loading is basically coming to the EU confirmed with iOS 17.4 or later and with iOS 18, Apple could expand on side loading if they are required to. So basically side loading will be one of the features we basically have confirmed at this point as well. Now, now this year will be the year of artificial intelligence. AI will be everywhere and anywhere you look, and that includes Apple's and Apple's operating system. Apple has already invested millions of dollars in AI, and iOS 18 is expected to integrate AI on a whole different level. Now, not only Apple is working on this, you'll see all companies with software integrating AI. This will be the year. Now, Apple is working on integrating AI through the software, maybe suggestions, Apple Music, you know, everywhere, including Siri. We haven't seen any major improvements to Siri and Apple has already confirmed to be investing millions of dollars in AI and that all leads to iOS 18 with a major AI integration this year. Just wait for it. Apple is working on something. We don't know exactly what it is, but AI will be the major focus this year, including Siri for iOS 18. I can't wait to see what Apple will do. With iOS 17, we saw minor integration of AI. We have personal voice where you can just record your voice and your iPhone will sound exactly like you. And that's just a small example on how AI can improve the user experience on an iPhone and things like that. So yeah, big changes, big AI integration. That's one thing to look forward to with iOS 18. Now we've also heard from Mark Gurman, one of the most reliable sources that Apple is working on new designs for iOS. Now we're not exactly sure what this means, but a home screen redesign is way overdue for the iPhone. Maybe different size widgets, maybe a more modern look to the operating system and how it behaves. Keep in mind that Apple is launching Vision Pro this year, so we could see a Vision pro-like UI experience on the iPhone in order for users to sort of get used to this new elements in UI that we see with the Vision Pro. Maybe that's just me being too hopeful, but a redesign for the home screen and the operating system is way overdue. The last time we saw any major changes was when Apple went from iOS 6 to iOS 7. That's years ago. So it is time for Apple to refresh the operating system to give it a little more life. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and shift my attention over to device support. Will your iPhone support the next major update, iOS 18? So I wanted to share my thoughts and what I believe will happen this year with iOS 18. Now to make things simple, if you have an iPhone 12 or newer, I give you a 100% chance that iOS 18 will be compatible with your iPhone. However, if you have an iPhone 11 or older, this is where things get a little more questionable. So the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro lineup, if you have one of these devices, I give you about a 50 
50% chance that iOS 18 will be supported for you. So just keep in mind, these are going to be based on my predictions. These are not confirmations from Apple, but I believe the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro have about a 50-50% chance. Now let's move over to the A12 devices, the iPhone 10R, the iPhone 10S, and the iPhone 10S Max. Now for these devices, I give only a 30% chance that iOS 18 will support your device. Now 30 is kind of low and that is because I believe iOS 18 will drop support for the iPhone 10R, the iPhone 10S, and the iPhone 10S Max. So those are going to be my predictions. iPhone 12 or newer, you have about 100%. iPhone 11, all models, 50-50. iPhone 10R, 10S, and 10S Max, I give you about a 30% chance of iOS 18 support. Now, with that being said, when can we expect the first beta? Well, usually Apple debuts their software at WWDC as they had many, many years. So we're about six months away. So we're looking at the first beta for iOS 18, most likely on the week of the 10th, of June. Basically the second week of June, Apple will most likely hold WWDC and we'll get the first beta for iOS 18 and I just can't wait. Let me know in those comments down below, is there a feature you would like to see Apple add to the iPhone with iOS 18? Thank you for watching this video guys and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!